Hi there, Capricorns. So I'm going to go into, you know, the standard uh, messages that are coming through for the mid-month reading. And then we're going to end up with, you know, what lesson do you need to carry with you from this year so that you can get yourself where you need to be, okay? So the first thing I'm feeling here is it feels to me as if the entire universe is conspiring to pull you forward into the future where there are going to be a huge boost when it comes to, you know, your income, your earning capabilities, when it comes to learning skills, learning ways, lear earning something and, and achieving something that will greatly set you up, you know, for the next 10 years. So I do feel for many of you, plans are already laid out. It's just a matter of you needing to get going with these things. And there is going to be a lot of trepidation from your end, you know, uh, insecurities and things like that from January, February, March, April. But the energy is going to significantly alleviate by February. So if you come into um, new things, new projects, partnership situations as well, where you're not really sure if this is going to work with another person. And then I also feel speaking engagement where you're in the limelight and you're not really sure if you have, you know, the, the charisma, the persona or the, the stage presence to really impress. Um, and then for others, I also feel as if uh, inter internet base selling and buying and dealing with as well foreigners, okay? So if you're not really sure about these things, I feel like you're going to take the rest of this month as well as January trying to figure out the ropes, trying to find that balance, trying to figure out what works for you. Having to forego some pleasures in order to get yourself a lot more discipline as well. So, you know, you can't just say yes to all the invitations that come your way. You're going to have to decline. You're going to need to conserve your energy and you're going to need to, you know, figure out what's really important to me. I have a limited amount of time. I only have four hours that I'm free. There are eight of these social fun obligations. Who can I say no to? Who can I say yes to? So you're really, really going to need to, you know, not extend yourself far and wide, but to really conserve your energy, draw back your energy and to focus on things that really will pan out for you. So I feel like frivolousness, you know, that's not going to cut it anymore. And you guys are really frivolous, but I feel like you have a hard time saying no, especially if the invitation sounds enticing, right? Like going out, meeting new people, um, meeting strangers, having like a business slash social meeting, social function. I feel like these are things that you um, you have to learn to say no to so that you can, you know, spend your time wisely, okay? So that element is coming into the picture. On top of that, I'm feeling for the next two weeks as well, uh, one of the major theme coming up here is, like I said, the universe is conspiring you to, to kind of pull you forward into your future, into the rest of your life, into things that are just waiting for you around the corner. And um, there's a relationship that is holding you back, okay? So many of you are still trying to work at these relationships and you know the nature of earth signs is it's hard for you guys to go into new things you guys like to fix things you guys like to tinker with it if there's a problem we have to find a solution and it can be fixed it's easier to fix things and have the old rather than cut it off and you know go off into something brand new it can feel very very scary so some of you there is some tweaking some some fixing up of your current existing relationship and I feel like um, a lot of it is you know contingent upon you and your relationship partner trying to decide you know ha coming to a consensus coming to an agreement what do we need to do differently so I do see a lot of breakthroughs if you're like in a relationship and you're seeing like a, a therapist to fix the marriage or fix the relationship and likewise, I feel like if there are new additions in the family, such as children, pets, whatever the, the circumstances might be, I know they're not comparable, but I'm seeing something small, like a, a smaller version of you or something like that's constantly um, around your, your legs, like twirling around your feet. So sorry for that analogy, but um, I feel like, you know, um, you're going to be 
putting in extra time, extra care to love on and nurture your existing relationships. So I feel that um, for some of you, if there has been third party interference, I feel like you're putting an end to that. So it's, it's more like uh, I have a fixed amount of time. I have these two relationships, one person I like more. So I'm going to devote, you know, that fixed amount of time to that one person. So I feel like you're going to be uh, breaking some hearts. OK, so I do see you actively trying to move on. So I'm feeling here uh, some people as well uh, needing to really take better care of their health. So that means, you know, saying no to drinking, saying no to excessive like partying also. Um, kind of like separating the professional life from the social life so that things don't get confusing, things don't get awkward, and things don't get, uh, so that boundaries are very, very clear. So I feel like you, you've you come into this month realizing that you need to actively do that, that it's a process and that it's something that you need to maintain. And you are also thinking about I can't be sending people mixed signals. I can't say, oh, I'll hang out with you today. And then next week, you know, like, oh, I, I, I'm busy. I, I can't really hang out with you. I feel like the people that you like, you're going to devote extra time to. And you're going to be the one reaching out and telling them you want to, you know, hang out with them. The ones that are not really your cup of tea, they're not bad people, but maybe, you know, you don't really have a lot in common. Maybe you don't really, you, you don't have the same goals in life. Maybe you're no longer energetically, you know, in tune or in sync with them anymore. And you're going to feel like, well, they keep soliciting me. And, you know, some days I go, some days I don't. And it becomes like a mixed messages. So you're just like, it's easier for me to just, you know, tell them no and then no and no. And so you're very consistent with who you are spending your time with. I do feel family coming up on the forefront and it looks really, really good. And I'm also feeling as well, I mentioned for the um, monthly reading, you have somebody that you ha uh, that's coming in with um, some emotional issues and you're gonna have to play mediator and you're gonna have to you know, provide that, um, that, that voice of reason or the, the shoulder for them to lean on. I feel like things getting better in their life and they're giving you a thank you, okay? But I'm also feeling that you should move on from this because, you know, you, you need to let them, you know, fight their own battles. And you need to also let them, you know, pick themselves up of their own bootstraps. So I feel like there's a need for you to detach from people that might be energetically, you know, draining you. Okay. So um, I do feel opportunities for travel as well. And uh, I just finished the Sagittarius reading. So the energy is very, very similar in terms of the, the travel, the movement, having long distance relationships and, you know, trying to manage that as well as everything that's going on in your life. So I feel like there's a lot that you're hopeful for. You can't wait for this year to end because you know 2018 is going to be a lot more exciting. Income is definitely up. Uh, you have a lot of command and authority in your work environment. So that means when you talk, people stop what they're doing and they listen. So you, you, you have an air of authority about you and the things you say, uh, people will you know take notes and write them down. And as well, you have a lot of command over the people that are working either under you. So I feel like some of you are supervisors, manager, or you have a position that other people look up to you and they, they come to you for expertise, for your expertise, and they come to you because you know what you're doing. So you also want to maintain that. So you know that 2018 is going to be a really, really big professional um, year. And so you're trying to tie up loose ends, okay, which is a great time during Mercury retrograde. So the lesson for us to take into the 2018 time frame, um, I feel like it's, a, it's a, a little bit of a maintenance between maintaining your boundaries and maintaining your firmness, okay? So, you know, a lot of the times you guys are, um, are, are very like, I want to say diplomatic as well. And so if you don't like somebody, you still give them the benefit of the doubt. You don't just, you know, shun them or like talk down to them. You don't do that. 
and uh, you're still cordial, very friendly, and you would still, you know, have a um, a good vibe about you when you're dealing with them. Even if you don't respect them, even if you don't like that person, you never just like uh, ignore them or make them feel less than in any way. And so, I feel like for many of you, this heart quality in which you're still very compassionate to people that have a lot of flaws. I don't feel there's anything wrong with that, but I feel like you're going to strengthen yourself and you're going to firm up a little bit and you're going to draw very clear boundaries between where you stand and where they stand and maintaining those boundaries so that they don't really leech onto your energy, leech onto you, stealing your ideas, stealing your strength or, you know, consistently depending on you. So you're teaching people to be very, very independent, okay? And this can be children, this can be family members, parents I'm seeing, as well as love relationship partners. You can be very generous if your partner is very, very generous, but you know how to hold back if you feel you've been taken advantage of and you don't like that. You want to be able to respect the people that you're around. You want them to be self-sufficient. You pride yourself as well on your ability to take care of yourself, to be self-sufficient. And so when somebody comes to you and they're kind of whiny and just, you know, uh, woe is me, it really makes you kind of, um, it, it, it makes you kind of start to lose respect for them gradually. But like I said, you have great compassion for other people and so you do take it with a grain of salt and you do go out of your way to make people feel better to help people out if you can but the year in 2018 and the lesson that we need to bring into 2018 is we need to take care of ourselves first okay we need to put ourselves first we need to put our needs first and energetically you have so many things that are happening that you need to be a lot more focused. So don't scatter your energy here and there trying to help other people or, you know, coming in and become that fixer for other people's problems, okay? They can handle it themselves, honestly. So you have to really be firm and maintain clear boundaries, draw a circle around you and take care of everything within that circle until you're absolutely done with all of that, then you can, you know, expend the energy to help others. This doesn't mean saying no all the time. It basically means being smarter about conserving your energy, okay? Um, so 2018, I feel like wishes coming true, wishes being granted, having a lot of things going your way, but I feel like you need to start the year on the right footing. I feel like that sets the tone for everything, mainly because your birthday time, by the way, happy birthday, your birthday time straddles, you know, the end of 2017, and then it straddles, you know, the beginning of 2018. So you're kind of like caught in between the energies of these two years. So that means you need to make changes now and maintain those changes throughout 2018. So the right way for us to do this is really spend the last uh, two weeks of this year, so which is the next two weeks, and uh, think about transition, think about things that absolutely need to end because enough's enough, and then things that absolutely need to begin. Okay, so you're going to be in this kind of, um, it's a dual role. It's ending things and then beginning new things and so we have to be in that mindset because you know you're straddling both years and the energy can be very confusing because the energy for 2017 is a self-starter type of a year whereas 2018 is a little bit more of an other oriented type of a year and that's why people will bleed onto your boundaries they will encroach upon your space so you need to be smarter about this okay I am going to leave it at that. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself and have a blessed new year. Bye-bye.